Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Lolly. I wanna talk very briefly about uh, a shift in direction on my channel. You know, many of you have followed along when I have done a journal series and by, I, I make a journal from start to finish. Now I've done the fairy journal, I've done uh, my planners, I've done many, many journals, especially my December daily every year. I've been noticing, I mean, I don't stare at the analytics on my channel because I'm not um, focused on how to build a huge channel or any of that, but I do want to know what my viewers enjoy watching. And those of you who follow along on my journal series are very faithful and really enjoy it a lot, but there are just a few of you. So I've noticed that those journal series are the least watched videos of anything that I produce. And that's okay if they're not really that thrilling to the masses. But what happens is when, when I have to put out a whole series, it's like 10 videos or so, um, not in a row, because I, I intersperse other videos in there. But that series, uh, to produce 10 videos or so, that are the least watched videos of everything that I do, it creates stagnation on my channel, which then means that YouTube also doesn't recommend my videos as much to other viewers. My subscriber count goes down. Overall view time goes down on my other videos. So, so even if I put up uh, an altered paperclip video, in between two of my journal videos, that paperclip video then gets less views, even from my own subscribers, because YouTube is now not even recommending my videos to my own subscribers. So it, it um, like I said, it causes stagnation. It, it harms all of my videos across the board. So like in the past, here's what I, an example, like I have this, um, Alice in Wonderland journal I'm creating and instead of showing you know and so I would show like every little piece that I'm cutting out and gluing in there show making the pocket etc and so then I would do an you know I would get like several pages in one video and then I would do another video until I get about like a 20 minute video and that's why it takes so long to get through this but what my focus is changing to now is I'm not going to show you every little thing. I'm not going to show you that I glued this on there and that on there and sewed this around. It's going to be more technique driven focus. So what that means is that instead of showing uh, how I put to how I glued several things together on a page, I will do this tutorial on how to transfer PDF and PNG images or photographs onto fabric. And I will do one whole video just showing how I made this. And it's all about the technique. And I'm not going to be showing also gluing together items and elements onto a tag that's going to go in the pocket. And so, in other words, at the end, I will still have an entire journal made but you will not see me gluing every little bit together. I will just at the end do the flip through and show that, oh, and I made this pocket and I glued these together, etc. cetera. But um, anything that's a major technique, such as the images on the fabric that I just showed you, that's going to have its own separate video. So uh, the video series, I will still have a playlist for the whole series but it will be condensed. So I'm hoping it will be, as I said, technique driven. There will be several technique videos. I will show you another example here. I made these tags for my uh, journal and they are kind of like a, a paper lace that I'm making. So I will do a separate video for that. And that will also go in the playlist just because I use those materials for that. All in all, it's going to be more condensed. It'll be more concise. Um, there will be more to learn instead of just following me along as I'm gluing squares in places. The big question is, how does this affect the December Daily Series? And I don't know. <laughs> I have to tell you, I don't know yet. Um, 
I have to figure that out um, because I know those of you who watch the December Daily Series usually follow completely how to do it. So there are some options, one of which is that I could produce images that you get a free download of the, of the pages so you could see where to glue everything and what the dimensions are. That would be very helpful for you and it would cut down on the waste and time constraints of having so many videos. It would be a little more work for me um, in that I would have to produce those images and get them to you. But on the other hand, I also have less video editing to do, so that would help save me a lot of work. When I do a video, uh, especially in a journal uh, series, it's about a 30 to 40 minute video that I edit down to 20 minutes or so. That editing process takes me at least two hours. So when you've got 40 minutes of filming, well, plus the prep work that goes into, you know, gathering my supplies and figuring everything out, two hours of editing and then the process of uploading and adding all the information is another half hour. So you're looking at at least three hours for every video I do. And the fact that these videos are not as well viewed also means that my ad revenue decreases sharply, not just for those videos, but for every video that has been affected because now my channel is getting stagnant from these. So all in all, my ad revenue, which is really tiny, nowhere near what you would expect it to be, my ad revenue is half of what it was like 20,000 subscribers ago. So even though the channel has grown, my ad revenue has dropped. Now, part of that, as I know, YouTube keeps stinking around and probably dropping how much they're paying us per ad. We get pennies per view. So uh, anytime you can help your favorite YouTubers by letting that ad play at least 30 seconds, that is a bonus for us. Thank you. We're, you know, we're not in it for the income. This, I cannot make a full-time living off of this ad revenue, just so you know. But it is really helpful to at least get 10 bucks for three hours of work, you know, in, in all that, putting that video up. That, that is at least helpful to um, offset some of the costs and the expense that we go through in doing this. We buy a lot of materials just to demo them and show them to you and give you our reviews as YouTubers. And again, we're buying this stuff of our own money. And uh, so it's not a real big money-making venture, believe me. But I think it would help if I would get my channel focused and focus back on the technique. That is where my heart really is. I love putting together journals, don't get me wrong. That is one of my favorite things to do is bookmaking and creating new um, structural um, methods of making journals. Um, but I just, I've got to condense it and make this more uh, profitable for both of us that uh, it would make it worth your while to watch a video and learn something new. Thank you for coming along. Thank you for following me on these ventures. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe. I do a lot of paper crafts, but I test other things out as well. And right now I'm gear really gearing up and adding more fabric to my projects and I think you're gonna enjoy it. Thank you for watching.